Welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Caribou Data Science channel. This is the afternoon of uh, Wednesday, September the 22nd, 2021. And it's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, though, a big shout out to the three people who watched this video yesterday, and a special shout out to the two younger folks who watched the video yesterday. But you know what? You know what? I know that each one of you know at least one person who's interested in the, the plain, simple COVID-19 numbers without any political hype or media or media hysterics, okay? I know you know people interested in this channel, interested in these numbers, okay? So by all means, click the subscribe channel, click the like button, and click the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter. You can also copy and paste it into an email or a text message. Again, you know, I know there's more, than, I know that you know more than one, I know there's more than three people in, in Columbus, in Columbus, Ohio alone, much less the state of Ohio, who are interested in the plain, simple numbers, okay? Which is what I, I give you the plain, simple numbers. Now, as we know, there are some <clears throat> there are some shenanigans on the part of the governor's office in terms of how number, how cases and deaths are now being counted. Back in uh, February 2021 this year, the governor's office said, "Oops, we undercounted uh, deaths by close to 4,000 during the fourth quarter of 2020." Now, what's also interesting about this, you know, is they never undercount cases. I mean, aren't the same people who's counting cases also counting the deaths? So what happened? Why all of a sudden did the undercount deaths with 4,000? Of course, it makes it, of course, what it does, it makes your numbers for 2020 look better than they really are. But I'll, I'll come back to in a moment. But also, you want to keep in mind, keep in mind about the about the vaccine. Okay, the vaccine is not designed to keep us from getting COVID-19. It's designed to reduce the chances that we'll die from COVID-19 if we get it. Very important to keep in mind. Now, so the governor back in, like I said, 2020 said, oops, we undercounted COVID-19 deaths by close to 4,000 in the fourth quarter of 2020. But rather than going back and backdating the letters, correct and issuing new numbers, they added the numbers on the February 11th, 12th, and 13th. And this is and, and this completely dwarfs all the rest of these numbers down there. Okay. So what I did is, is I replaced these three numbers here with the average number of deaths for those three days. And that's what this looks now. This is a much better fit and probably much closer than this. I mean, these numbers could even be higher or lower, but this is much closer. Okay. So the question is this: What does the what the numbers actually look like? So this this is a seven-day moving average on top of. Okay. And I want you to notice the other thing I want you to notice is this gap for health sudden and back in March. Okay. Well, in March, the governor's office decided, in his, in his infinite wisdom, decided to go from reporting deaths seven days a week to only reporting deaths five days a week. Now, if that's not, if that's not bad enough, the kicker is it's not the, it's not the same, five or, same five days every week. Okay. But anyway, if you know, these numbers, here's the, here's the thing. It's, if, if these numbers were higher back here, which, which they were, that, that, that would make this decline here look even better. Okay. But you can see like you had a long declining pattern to mid-July. Then in July, deaths started to increase again. Okay. And my question for you is this. How many of these people were vaccinated? What about cases? Well, here's weekly deaths. Again, how many of these people, how many of these people, in January, we're fully vaccinated. Okay. What about cases? How many of these people were vaccinated? But again, a long declining pattern, followed by an increase in July. Summary statistics. This is just a different way, a little different way of looking at the COVID-19 cases by day. Cases by week. How many of these people were vaccinated here before they got the disease? Okay. So anyway, hi, that, that concludes, anyway, Buckeye Nation, that does conclude your report for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, don't forget to share this report and the Caribou Data Science channel with your friends and family today. Thanks so much, Buckeye Nation. We'll catch you tomorrow with an update report.